that you're not doing this. You want to get a bunch of dirt in there? No. Scrape it off the walls. Oh. Now it's already there. Look. Look at the bones. Some of the bones of a tree.
I recall several videos back where I salvaged the um, the floorboard off of the uh, off the mobile home that I that I uh, demolished. Well, this is the floor. You've got the uh, you got the plywood and you've got the uh, the floor joists right there. I turned those joists into rafters, and these are going to be the deck of the roof. Uh, one side is going to take nine or ten sheets of plywood. Uh, looks like I'll only have three left. Here's nine here. There's three more so I may have to spend some money on that. So far all I've got invested in this is uh, nails and screws and those uh, those tie downs which are holding the rafters up on the uh, on the headboard. Um, looks like I'm gonna have to buy some more uh, plywood over here on this side. I've got to take it out a little further probably 16 feet or so so I can fit the tractor and the bobcat side by side. They're not gonna go end to end uh, just because you know the, the tractor especially with the mower Over there, can you see it? It's just way too long uh, even without the mower It's too long to go end to end with the Bobcat or the skid steer the JCB skid steer and the tractor
All right, so with that, the roof deck on the sawmill side is complete. Got an extra sheet of plywood here. Um, now I'm gonna get to working on the, on the machinery side where I'm gonna park the skid steer and the tractor over there. Um, but they're gonna have to go side by side. So the depth that we did over here is not gonna fit the, uh, specifically the tractor, especially, especially if we keep the uh, lawnmower on it. So we're gonna have to go at least 16 feet. Uh, we'll see what we're left, uh, well, we'll see what we have to work with for uh, the floor joists that are gonna be the rafters now. Um, down here, I've got my reclaimed lumber and uh, we're going to have to uh, move it. And we're gonna have to take care of that trash pile there. Uh, I have no place to put it, so we're just gonna put it back uh, on the other trash pile there. We're gonna have to take down a couple of these trees uh, so we can um, put the uh, put the other roof on over here. I've only got uh, four sheets of plywood left, three down there, one up here. Um, so we're gonna have to end up spending money on the rest of the roofing for this side. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and, and do that. I'm gonna bring the other plywood up here and the rafters that we're gonna need. And then we're gonna have to move this lumber pile somewhere else and uh, do the groundwork before we can get started on the actual construction. Okay, something I have to address uh, better is uh, securing the back side of the roof to the shipping container. Uh, right now I've got some steel banding going through the lift points of the container. Uh, it's probably not enough because a good gust of wind could come through here and lift the whole thing up and, and just cause a disaster. But right now, um, uh, that's going to have to do. I'm going to get some electricity out here and I'll probably weld some brackets up here that I can bolt through the wood and uh, the brackets be welded to the shipping container and that should suffice.